the uselessness of uh, questions like this. Um, does that person only say they believe in God and profess a belief in God because they believe that it's uh, the correct uh, socio-political view and that religion actually benefits people and they need it and it's actually inescapable so forward this one that's historically worked out and fostered democracy and secularism just questioning that just like questioning your own self about uh, and this applies to atheism in their argument about uh, do I believe in God because I fear death um, but you're forcing yourself to believe it or you're professing it it's it's part of you actively or is it because uh, it necessitates uh, morality and justice or because it there's no basis for inalienable human rights if that's not the case uh, or love exists so and that's and I'm conscious I'm a conscious being, I'm aware, therefore I'm not just a biological machine, because then where does consciousness come from? Uh, all these things. Or people who just believe, have always believed. Now, some of these things are, are arrived at, I guess you could say rationally, it's a rationalization. Some of them are not. Some, it's just belief, right? Uh, because the Bible said so is not actually a basis for believing in God. It's an after or because the Quran or because you know the Tanakh the Old Testament or the Bhagavad Gita or whatever it's that's not the why it never is it might be a reason that people give but it actually is never the why because you already have to assume that there's a God to have written a Bible um, or a Quran or what have you uh, and most people don't believe God wrote the Bible this is why really and many uh, Christians and theists and Muslims and you just say theist uh, many of them do this and really you know question are do you really believe in God because everybody I think at some point says well do I you know if they have any introspective or active faith right they might have stagnant belief but faith faith meaning not um, now meaning blind faith and not meaning if they have faith meaning loyalty in the original sense in the original sense of the word faith in the Greek uh, loyalty not just oh I'm gonna assert this or whatever but it also actually also in faith yeah also in our modern kind of concept of faith but um, this is why I like uh, why I really have respect for Big Lundy and Suicide for Celluloid and Skeptical heretics not anymore, and neither is Cardinal Virtue slash Rithrandil. But I really appreciated them because even though that they did not attach on to this, but when they came at discussing um, discussing religious people and um, God and atheism, and they were a, they were very solid atheists and argued against God and and things like that and enforcing any religious ideas into the secular society um, they were not like a billsy bob or a bionic dance that said people believe in God because of this and if we break this then people won't believe in God anymore if we attack this people won't believe in God anymore um, just like atheists don't necessarily some of them arrive at atheism because for non-rational idea they were raised without um, any belief in a god um, and it's not that they never saw a need for a god they just never they were never raised with a belief in god so they don't believe in god right and there's probably a hereditary or genetic component because i think there i think belief in god is an expression of the way you see the world and probably it might they might have a genetic component um, of people innately feeling that there is a god uh, probably it's an immense an immense aid in evolution to our existence uh, and again we're not going to be able to cancel that out um, or if we do it would be for the wrong reason because we don't really know why genes how, which genes are going to help us or people could say oh well have the um, 
the idiotic idea of science disproves God. I'll link below for a video on why that's wrong if you question that. Or if you say, well, doesn't it? Um, or I'm not a Christian anymore because of uh, the myth is theory purported in Zeitgeist, which is total rubbish. Or, um, you know, there can't be a God because of Adam and Eve couldn't have existed, even though that was never taken literally. And I'll put a link to that in below because even Christians think that ancient Christians believed in creationism and a literal Adam and Eve and it's quite clear from the earliest writings of the church that no nobody did this is why it's this is a bad this is why this is a bad argument because there are people who say oh um, belief in God is a cancer or religion is a cancer um, we need to get rid of it. We're going to explain why we're not going to get rid of it, but I'll do that in a moment. Belief in God, God is a myriad of things. There's philosoph there's the philosophical belief in God. There's a theistic belief in God, um, which those aren't exactly the same thing. There is a, um, there is taking one point of multiple points of the philosophical belief, philosophical belief. Yeah, belief in God or whatever you want to say, even if you don't say belief. Just accepting one of those points, there is a religious belief in God that sometimes is theistic. I know that sounds counterintuitive. And then there's different um, forms of God, right? There's even within religions, the Eastern Orthodox view of God is closer to the Taoist view of the Tao than it is to the Western Protestant view of God, even though there's a trinity, um, and even how they approach things like sin, the Bible, what divine inspiration means. All of these things have a completely different meaning. And then, I mean, that's close. That's not even like comparing Mormonism to Protestantism. But then you have the farther out ones, Mormonism and uh, Jehovah's Witness within the realm of, I guess, accepting the New Testament or whatever. And then you have the various Jewish beliefs in God. Then you have Sunni, Shia, and Ibadi within Islam. And then you have the Sufi beliefs within that. Again, you have Mandaean, um, Yazidi, all these different things, right? And then you have Mahayana Buddhist, which have a god. Um, you have Shinto, which have gods. Myriad. That's not necessarily the problem. That That is a problem when trying to lump everything into a mass and arguing against it. The biggest problem that I see, again, I don't think, well, I'll explain this right now. Calling religion and belief in God a cancer and having a hatred for it. Now, not all atheists have this, but having this intense anger towards it. Whenever I see that, I see people not accepting facts, right? Because this does bias them. Like about the genocide in El Salvador or um, in the 1980s or in Mexico in 1925 or in the Ukraine with the Holodomor. Um, and I can go on and on. Portugal in the 1910s. Spain during the Spanish Republic. All of these things. It just gets swept under the rug. Or even the persecution that's going down out in the Middle East. When what is called moderate Christianity, which is not moderate. It's the fundamentals form of Christianity only rose up in existence and you can check the link that I referred to earlier, uh, in the 1930s, and the components of it, its beliefs did not emerge in, until about 150 years ago. That gets attacked and thrown down, but it doesn't do anything to forward skeptical thought. And that'll be the second video, and there's plenty of examples of that where it still doesn't aid in skeptical thought. People who look at things, people who approach religion and stuff like that skeptically, still, when they're confronted with something, 
refuse to look at the other side or refuse to look at it skeptically or apply like standards with like. So this dogmatic thinking, the tribalism, and even irrational beliefs and overarching um, ideas or believing that things that are affecting us are not and heard think. Feminism and global warming. I'll give you those two examples. Um, I'm not going to go into pro or against or how they affect people. That'll be in the, the next video. And there's more things like that, the Twin Towers, uh, a view of a certain political party. And the strange thing is, is that the structure of these religions, the, the, the effects of them, where it demands moderation, which the mainstream do, uh, those linchpins get kicked out, which is why I believe, well, Without religion, we wouldn't have gotten this far in history, specifically the structure of the church and then the rebellion against that. We wouldn't have had um, rampant literacy or scientific method uh, or secularism. And I will explain that in a third video, which I'll upload today. Um, and you can argue with me on that. I invite you to. But the... Uh, You also leave open a uh, a vacuum where a far more harsher and fundamentalist uh, and more dangerous religion is sitting to fill that need. Um, things like Islam, which there's a huge segment, bigger than anything, that is... Uh, radical, far more radical within Sunnism than any other religion. And you could see the bias where people say, oh, well, even though all the terrorists today, or 95% of them, are radical Islamists, in 1993, a fundamentalist Protestant blew up a judge who was, or who uh, ruled that uh, partial birth abortion was okay. So therefore, the Catholic Church, a church he didn't belong to, uh, they support terrorism, even though they condemned it. Uh, and the guy wasn't a Catholic. <clears throat> but um, that gets equated with uh, this huge superstructure of terrorism, and nobody will, very few atheists, and I commend them, will put themselves on the line to go after that and say, look, this is bad too, instead of irrationally defending that and calling it a race. We are not a race. Um, just like Christianity isn't a race. But there is a bias and modern day atheism in this new atheist wave is not, and I'll have this in another video, is not, and all links will be below, is not the simple rejection or negation to the proposition that one or more gods exists. That is the problem. Uh, that there's a lot more that comes along with that. And I think people will disagree with me on this initially, but I invite you to watch the next video and um, that's related to this and argue. Or if you can prove me wrong, I will come on here and say I was incorrect about that or I see a different way. And this is not a totally true statement. But uh, I don't care about to converting people to atheism or against atheism. And that's another thing. There's a proselyte thing within the new atheist movement, which I think is disgusting. I think all proselytizing is garbage. So I don't like, I'm not encouraging anybody to be Christian or Muslim or well, Shia Muslim or uh, atheist. I do encourage secularism and, uh, well, for the people who want it, and skepticism. But I, again, I never try to get people to believe certain things because that would be just as bad. That would be hypocrisy on my part. But I invite anybody to check out the videos linked below, which should be linked within the next 24 hours. And if you want to tell me I'm wrong and fuck off, if you want to debate me, go ahead. Peace to you.